so uh, I may modified few vertices places this and this and here at the bottom what I have done I moved this in the middle away from the corners because I want to chamfer these corners so let me make sure these vertices right here are all even uh, yeah okay so now before we proceed with any other uh, modeling we, we will use the bend tool to make this area here bended like this image look it's bended so we need first to make this area and this one too by using the chamfer for these vertices so I select these two vertices use the chamfer tool and I will chamfer these to something like this okay and press okay I need to move these two uh, vertices inward so I use a scale to take them inward now before we use the bend tool we need to, we need to make few cuts so after we finish everything we will use turbo smooth so I will use the edit swift loop and here let me get closer I need one cut here 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 and for this shape I better use the perspective view to make sure I'm working right uh, this I need to make a cut right here and for the overall shape that one and here too a few cuts here maybe I need to pause the video and get back to you I will just perform a few cuts for the logo as you can see here so I'll pause the video and come back to you so I used the swift loop to create cuts and I also use the cut tool to make few cuts here and on that side so when we use the turbo smooth we get bit results so let me check let me select the editable body and I will use the turbo smooth and that's what I get that clean look get closer so you can see everything but of course now we won't use the turbo smooth so I delete it now I need to save before I lost everything uh, and I will use the bend tool and I always prefer to use it in the either uh, polygon or orthographic mode I will use it with some amount of course on the x-axis this amount will be fine for me let's make it 70 percent and here with the limit effect I will limit this so it's limited to the left side only okay so I guess that's what we need let me check with the original image yeah that's it maybe it's bend it a bit more I can reduce the bend value let me make it something like 55 so I get this level of bending and it's similar to what I need now I go to perspective mode to see what we have 
and that's the level of bending we need to use okay so now right click convert to editable poly and um, actually I need to make this look better than this so I go to front view and yes I need it to be rotated so I select the editable poly activate snap toggle use rotate I need to rotate it to look like this so I go get back to perspective go to home I think that's what I need to work on uh -huh. that's that's fine okay now I need to make two cuts on the left and right side so I can use uh, I go to top view I use the quick slice and I will make a very quick slice for this edge on the vertex mode and another one for this edge too and I get closer I will do the same for this area and similar one for this so I can have better edges to work from and another quick slice here and the last one just right here so that's it now next in the next tutorial we will start creating the box so keep up with me